I'm going to bring a little bit of these reflections down into, down into the water down here. And then again, I'll just brush them out. Now, this brush is getting pretty messy. I'll try and wipe it up a little bit. But it's still going to have some dark paint on it, no matter how much I rub. We'll try to avoid it transferring to the canvas by going very, very lightly. And there we are. We got just what we wanted. Let's get a little bit of darks down here. Maybe uh, let's have, uh, we'll have some foliage growing down here. Let's go ahead and, and get a, a row of stuff down here. I like to call it stuff because I really don't know what it is. It's just a lot of green stuff growing. Some of it is palmettos and some of it is just reeds and weeds and what else all. It's just, it's just nice having it there. It just lends so much to the picture. We'll come up the side here, get some foliage in here, get a little bit more work down here. And again, we're going to highlight all this stuff all over again. We're going to come in with some more lights. I'm only picking up yellow, but I'm getting green because of all the blue that I have there on my canvas. I can push it in this way. Or I can just lay it down like this. And by tapping it like in, in that way, I'll get what appears to be grasses growing. So I'm always using the same brush, but I'm just changing what I'm doing with it. Again, I can, so I can get my palette knife and work that out so that it looks more, more painted rather than just uh, haphazardly pushed onto the canvas. And again, we'll finish this off here. We want to have some light back here. Get some light back there. And now let's have a little bit of a, of a shoreline. We'll take, we'll take some yellow, cadmium yellow, a little bit of red, mix it together, get an orange, add a little bit of the black to it, and lo and behold, we have a nice sienna or a brown shade. Uh, a little bit more red to that, since it's a little bit on the greenish side. And there we are. And now we'll just kind of run that in here and create kind of a shoreline or a little bit of the beach, you might say. Something of a beach back there. Like that, coming right down to the water. And now I'll take some white, just some plain white, and just very, very lightly rub it over that to give me some movement. See how the paint breaks over that? It's really cool. We'll just move along like that. Now, I want to extend my reflections in the water here. Get some white paint. Get some white paint in there. Let's get a little bit of movement here. Get this moving up like so. 